We live in a generation today which is lazy. Let's be honest, the yeah. generation is lazy. Everyone thinks they deserve more. Everyone watches uh, social media and feels like, oh, why do they have it and I don't? It's because they have taught themselves to want more. If you want it, you can go out there and get it. We live in a very lazy uh, generation where people sit at home, they flick through social media and they blame the world. They don't get off their backside. They, don't, they, they, they blame the world and they don't actually realize that they are the ones that can change it. Guys, when are we actually going to give somebody a job? Never! Never. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Fam, man's applied for bare jobs. You man ain't got back to me, bro. I'm sorry to hear that. On my system, it says that you've applied more than 20 times this month and you've not gotten the job. First of all, I love the growth mindset. I'm going to send you a bunch of job hiring emails to your email. After this call, we may not contact you again. You man are violating, bro. Back. Your number has already been blocked. Fam, yeah, what do you mean, fam? Guys, I love this guy's cover letter. Should we give him a job? Why is this guy always trying to give people jobs? He's, he's only 16. Tell him so sweets in school. <laughs> All the reasons I bought out a job interview is part one. <laughs> This one was an Irish bar in Liverpool and I went in there, right, and I just looked at the staff and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to vibe with him, so I just left the interview just because I mentally thought I would have vibe with him. I worked at a cafe on... <laughs> I worked at a cafe on Me City, right, and they wouldn't give me a San Pellegrino for free even though I was working there for a month, so what? How could they won't give me a San Pellegrino? <laughs> Oh, there was one in Manchester where it was like a nightclub and I walked in there and it was dead loud and then the girl's like, let's do a trial shift. And I was like, do we get paid for it? And she was like, no. So I said, my mum was outside with my iPhone charger, can I go and get it? And I went back. Hey, you man, does indeed actually work. I'm convinced that app is just taking in my personal details for no reason. I'm on to you, I'm on to you. A good year or two ago, I must have just been spamming indeed just for jobs, 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 jobs. No one job has got back to me. In fact, all the jobs that did get back to me said, unfortunately, da -da -da -da, you've not made it to the next stage. What did I do? What in my CV was wrong? And if I was to show you my, my CV, trust me, I had it wrote by my sister that done a master's degree. My landlord lingers around this building and shames me every day for being unemployed. I'll literally head out like this for my fucking morning ciggy, like this. You know, though you have to work, are you? Obviously, I'm not off to fucking work. I'm too busy <clears throat> making TikToks, not brushing my hair, wearing my pyjamas, and what else? I'm not really sure, to be honest. Is anyone else feeling the wrath of the UK jobs market right now? I've interviewed for 10 jobs. I've got none of them. Came second in eight of them. What's going on? Ah! I took a six month career break in March. I decided to never go back to my career. Now I've run out of money. I'm in my rejection era. This week, I received an email from a job that I applied to. It said, dear Kiara, I was buzzing, had my name in it. Don't care if it's AI. Actually addressed me. They addressed my application. I'm a bit downhill because it was actually a rejection letter. <laughs> but honestly, the fact that they replied to me was buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Anyone that's out there looking for jobs right now, that is the first reply I've had. All jokes aside though, I've actually had a pretty good week in terms of my job hunt. I think this is like day 13 of documenting it. So if you're interested, go and look at my other videos because they are equally as depressing. I'm a management consultant. I've got five years worth of experience. Despite what the haters have been saying on all my other videos, before I entered my rejection era, I did actually have a good work reputation. I, people liked working with me. I'm in my zone tonight. And if she keep looking at me, I'm taking her home tonight. Yeah. I just had a job interview. I literally nearly cried twice during it. Like, as in, welled up, had to say to them, like, sorry, like, can I just have a moment? It was just, it was just so bad. Just for context, I left education, like, as a teacher where I worked on and off because I had, like, was struggling with mental health issues and loads of other stuff, relocated, COVID, blah, blah, blah. Mm like two months ago since then i've been figuring out what to do i've got a ugc portfolio i've done some kind of like little influency work here and there which has been going great but as like a side hustle thing i also have some mental i have mental health difficulties issue i was diagnosed with personality disorder in 2020 and i did some therapy for it and at the end of my therapy um they gave me the opportunity to basically like become a lived experience trainer so i'm doing that as well but that's only like eight to ten training sessions like over the year so it's a bit of money which is great but it's still not like a full-time thing so with my experience of like 
teaching and social media i just don't know what to do next i've done a part-time thing so i can do my other side hustles but i just don't know what doing and, and like i don't know if i'm fucking delusional right but i want to be making like 5k a month like four or five k a month six k i mean i'd love to be making 10 blah, 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 blah. i'd love to be making 10k a month but like that's not realistic <laughs> but leave us 5k i mean at the moment i'd probably make not even 1k i just don't know what to do finding a job in london at the moment is genuinely impossible so i well t to start off i have a first class degree in pop music um, which I know people will be like, oh, well you studied something creative, so of course you'll never find a job. No, 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 it's everyone. Like, my friends who study, like, I don't know, fucking computer things or whatever, they're, they're also struggling. Like, everyone is scrambling for jobs. It's impossible. But yeah, I have a um, first class degree and I also have a pretty big portfolio in, like, marketing things and photoshoppy things and all of that because I work as a freelancer on the side. I was getting sick of freelancing, so I was like, okay, I want to have a full-time job. So I started applying with my big-ass portfolio and my, like, first-class degree, right? I started uh, applying mid-May, uh, sent out around 20 job applications, and was rejected from all of them, or just, like, never heard back from them, right? I find a job nowadays, you have to have the perfect CV, do a 17-hour application online, then phone you up and say, sorry, you don't have the job because you have no experience. I'm done! Being jobless versus being employed. Like, I can't tell which one is better for you. The unemployed lifestyle of sitting at home, like eating chocolates, watching TV, does not last long before you're depressed. I've been job hunting for the past two weeks, and the things that my eyes have seen in this job hunting thing, hey, 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 it's only God that knows what I have been going through. And today, I'm going to show you something that buttresses what that girl just said. So, first of all, yeah, I know that rejections are a part of, you know, this job application process as a candidate. However, some companies are just point blank senseless like you see some emails and you're like i'm not i am trying to give you myself you know to work for you <laughs> I, I you're not doing me a favor i just i want to work for you i want to i'm giving myself to you my time i'm giving you my time my efforts to work for you and some of these companies you put ad on indeed put ad on linkedin but you don't want to hire anybody why if you're unemployed or on a job hunt i want to talk to you i have been rejected for jobs that i thought i was a hundred percent qualified for so many times like I, i've lost count of how many jobs i've applied to I talked to someone i know yesterday she's five years older than me and she told me how she was offered a full-time job when she was my age i am honestly so done with the job center universal credit the whole system yeah i cannot be bothered with it anymore from personal experience the places that they sent me to whether it's for training courses to become a teacher and assistant from personal experience, and this has happened I think three times now, it's always been a fail. I've gone and nothing's come out of it. And when I say that to my work coach, it makes me seem like I'm not interested to get into employment. It's the complete opposite. I'm actively looking, but what you're suggesting to me isn't going to make a difference. It's not going to give me skills. It's not like the past two times he's tried to send me somewhere. I was like, listen, nothing's going to come out of this. I've done this before. Is it going to give me a job? Um, no, but they'll help you out. Okay, is it going to increase my skills? Um, no, not really, but they'll help you out. I just got sent to a career fairs. Career fairs? A career... F I forgot what it's called. You know when you walk about, there's different stores, different companies, different brands, organisations. So these lot made it seem like you'd get recruited on the day. Ideally, that's not really how it works. But that, that's how they made it seem, right? But I knew from the moment that he registered me, to go to this event i knew it wouldn't meet my expectations like i'll be honest from what it said on the email i was kind of sold dreams in the sense of you might be lucky to get an interview on the day my thing is had i not gone because i didn't have a choice he just signed me up to this right without asking me are you free this day is this time available is this time okay for you no no nothing like that he fully just signed me up and said to me you're going Remy! Seven.
41 years old and taking three forms of identity, a Mitchum job center to sign on. Another day, another two rejection emails. I got one from BAE, basically just regrets to inform you, yada yada, you've not been successful. A pretty standard generic email, you know, no feedback. Okay, it is what it is, we've got to move on. I got one from the company that I was ranting and raving about the other day, though. Um, the one about the feedback being so ridiculously unnecessary. I got that rejection email less than 24 hours after I completed that task. I was aware I was not getting that job, but my gosh, they were quick. They were so quick. They were straight out the door. Job hunting in the UK is so difficult. Literally all of the good jobs are in London. And I don't live in London. I actually applied for a job that even though it said that you have to be in the office, um, I figured they'll see on my resume that I don't live in London and they'll decide if they want to talk to me or not. And so he still spoke to me and he was like, oh, I didn't really know where it was that you were and if you were relocating. Mm, oh, well. But at least I wasn't turned down off of skill or merit. It was just my location because I live in the middle of nowhere. It's time for some of the realities as an actor. So other than filming a monologue today, I spend most of my day, pretty much all of it actually, sitting, rifling through casting websites to essentially find my next job. So I have a job coming up at the end of November and it's for about two weeks, but after that I have nothing. Literally zilch planned. So you've got, the grind is always on. You just got to keep finding the next role all the time. So basically I go on casting websites every single day and I apply for as physically many jobs as I suit the part for even ones I'm not 100% sure about you still apply because you just never know and yeah that is the reality of my life so we're gonna sit here for the next two three hours and we're gonna apply for as many freaking jobs we can find and we're gonna manifest for a role bye so I've just got back from a job interview and one of the questions was like how's your health do you have any back problems can you lift heavy items this job involves lifting heavy things. I said, yeah, I've worked in hospitality, worked in the pubs to move a barrel, you know, all that jazz. And then the next question was, how flexible are you? I went, well, I can't do the splits, but I could probably do a headstand. She was on about hours. She wanted to know how flexible my shifts could be. I think I've got the job. Hi guys, it's Ken and welcome to another episode of my life unemployed. So first things first, I needed to get a coffee because your girl was tired, like tired, tired, tired. You know when you wake up tired, it's just not a vibe. Anyways, on my way home from my boyfriend's house, I went to Lidl's because I really fancied a poke bowl today. I tried to find some ingredients, but they hardly had anything. I was like, what is going on? Like, your girl was hungry. After Lidl's, I went home. I put some makeup on because I was just, I was just feeling so great today. Like, you know, your face is just not vibing. I then made a sad excuse for a poke bowl. Don't know what I'm smiling at here, but anyways, I couldn't even be asked to wait for the rice to cool down because I was so hungry. Scoffed that down and then proceeded to get ready. Only me would pull this face while putting a label on my shoe. Like, what is wrong with me? I'm actually so weird. Anywho, we're going to Oxford Street, so let's go. Who idea was it to put the job center in a shopping mall? Yo, Amanda, what we saying? Yo, Amanda, my old jobless. Lord, old jobless, yo. Man. Let me see the phones, fat indeed, blood. Indeed. Oh, long dick, nah. Long dick, long dick, long dick. Oh, man. And you got fired as well? I got fired today from the back. Just down, back, back. Oh, man, them. Do you know what's really annoying? That I'm underqualified for all these big girl corporate jobs, even though I've got a degree and lots of work experience, blah, 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 blah. But I'm too overqualified to work in Primark or a shop or retail or any of that. And it just leaves me with, with no options, really. Like, where, where am I meant to go from here? To all my fellow unemployed graduates out there, I pray for us and let us get through this because bloody hell, it is hard out here. If this is you, I do want to say that you are not alone. There are thousands of other people in exactly the same position of you. In fact, hundreds. I speak to many of them every single day. The second thing I want to tell you is that I would strongly recommend looking into part-time work 
just so that you can have some money to keep you going and obviously it's part-time so you can still continue your job search at the same time and in addition to that if you are struggling with finding part-time work or are struggling money-wise look into you look into universal income that's what it's there for it's there to help you out in hard times and help you get your feet off the ground there is no shame in create in claiming universal credit universal income as a graduate so yeah, I recommend doing those two things. So you want to stack shelves for 30 hours a week, I guess. Excellent. Couple of questions. Uh, what motivates you? Ketamine and alcohol. Both are quite expensive. So if I can get this job, I can afford more ket and alcohol. Okay, uh, summarize yourself in three words. Lazy, stupid, prick. Okay, uh, why do you want to work at Home Bargains then? What kind of fucking question? If I come here for eight hours a day, you will give me money. Why would I want to work at Home Bargains? Okay, uh, l l last one. Uh, do you work well with others? Depends on what. If they're cunts, they are. Then I won't. Can I start today?